What is good, my rags and fitness people, my rags and fitness folks, my rags and fitness fam? It's your man Rags back off up in this thing. When I tell you I'm up in it, I'm talking about I'm knee deep all the way off up in it for my weight loss journey, people. Keep God first. That's very important. Keep your head to the sky. Shake all of the haters off. And for all, I'm a critical tie football fan. Can I please get a roll tide roll, baby? <laughs> oh. Hey guys, it's your man Rags coming here with a lot of gratitude saying thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking, uh, sharing, whatever you've been doing. Hey guys, for my people that may be new, tuning in to Rags, why won't you do me a favor? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Hit now, man. Make sure you hit the post notification bell so you'll be notified when old Rags drops the content. Now, as you can see, by the thumbnail I said this video, by the title of this video, me, an Alabama Christmas Tide fan, is gonna be talking about our little brother in the state of Alabama. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about the Auburn Tigers, right? <laughs> hey guys, I gotta share some love, share some light on the Auburn Tigers. No matter how mad they make me when they try to get on a winning streak and go to talk it almighty. But hey, that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about these fighting Hugh Freezes and the War Eagle down there in Auburn, Alabama. Hey, they just so happened today to get a big time recruit. He goes by the name of Jalen Crawford. Let's talk about it. There it is. This guy's from Lilburn, Georgia, class of 2024. He's a cornerback. He's six foot, 180 pounds, right? This guy's a legitimate four-star athlete, right? Composite, he's 159 nationally. He's the number 16th cornerback nationally. And this guy is the 23rd player in the state of Georgia. I tell you, Auburn, I think you just got you one, right? I wish I would have put the uh, the screen up so you guys could see some highlights or whatever, but Rags is really in a time crunch. I got somewhere to be. Guess what? Alabama's gonna be having somebody commit to us tonight. Well, at least I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and that's where I gotta be, right? So let's go talk about this guy a little bit, right? This guy was, Jalen Crawford was recruited by Auburn, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Liberty, Louisville, just to name a few, but guess what? Auburn said you gotta be faster than that because Auburn went in the state of Georgia and the heart of Georgia just snatched him out of there and brought him on back out of there and brought him to Auburn, Alabama. They took him across that state line and he said, hey, guess what? I don't wanna go back to Georgia. I like this place over here in Alabama. Now, what made him like Auburn, Alabama? I don't know. Young man, I think you'd have had a better time in Tuscaloosa. But, like I said, that's neither here nor there. Hey, Auburn Tigers, I want to congratulate you on your gift. Let's talk about this man a little bit more here. Mr. Andrew Ivins, I've been talking about him all day today. He's the director of scouting over at 247 Sports, right? And this guy wrote a report up around February 26, 2023. That's what it says. They say this guy's an aggressive corner that has field that that has held. Oh my God! This guy's an aggressive corner that has held his own in Georgia's highest classification. He measured six foot, 180 pounds in the winter of 2023, and is believed to have an additional inch or two in his arms. Versed in both man and off man coverage, also owns valuable two way snaps, having doubled as a wide receiver on Friday nights. Does a nice job of maintaining phase by mirroring with his hips and trying to steer his assignment towards the sidelines. Quick to break on the ball. Has it proven to be uber competitive at the catch point. Having totaled plenty of pass breakups and a trio of interceptions as an 11th grader. Rather spirited as an open field tackle which suggests that he might be best suited for more of a boundary role on Saturdays. So that's what Mr. I Andrew Ivan, he said a little bit more, but old Rags don't feel like reading that whole book worth of stuff they just wrote on this guy, right? Let's look at his high school athletic background. In 2021, as a sophomore, he started at cornerback for Parkview, participated in GAGC North-South All-Star Game where he picked off a pair of passes. Let's see here in 2022, he was all country selection. Total 29 tackles and three interceptions for Parkview squad that made the second round of the playoffs in Georgia's high school classification, guys. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jalen Crawford, 
This guy seems to be a beast. They say he's aggressive at the point of attack. He knows how to high point that ball, go up and get it. And you know why he know how to do that? Because he was a two-way player. He played receiver and he played a little cornerback. He played on both sides of that ball. Old Rags did that a lot when he played football too, but I wasn't a wide receiver and a corner. <laughs> but I know what it means to play on both sides of the ball and you can kind of get an edge when you're competing against your counterpart over there on the other side, right? This guy here, Jalen Crawford, he officially visited Auburn Tigers on June 9th. On June 16th, Jalen Crawford officially visited the LSU Tigers. Jalen Crawford officially visited the North Carolina Tar Heels June 23rd. Steve Whitlong predicted Jalen Crawford would commit to Auburn on July the 12th. He had him down packed, man. And guess what he did on July the 15th? This guy committed to the Auburn Tigers. So Auburn Tigers, no matter what kind of blood, bad blood we may have when that Iron Bowl come around, right now at this point in time, what's this? July 15th, I wanna tell you congratulations. Now when this young man get on campus, that don't mean I'm not gonna wanna smack him up and down the field with my Alabama Crimson Tide football player. But right now I wanna tell you guys, to wrap this man in your warm embrace, treat him like, you know, he need to be treated. Man, keep him out of trouble down in Auburn, Alabama, down in the old barn. And uh, hey man, the sky's the limit for this guy. So, with all of that being said, guys, old Rex, I think I've overshared my welcome right here talking about these Auburn Tigers. But guess what, Auburn Tigers? Your War Eagles or whatever you are, War Tigers, War Go Eagles, whatever you are down there in the barn. Guess what? I know you enjoyed this content. I know you enjoy watching the end of this and looking into my eyes. And let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something more eager that you might not like. Roll Tide Roll. And with all that being said, I'm out of here already. Yeah, y'all.